Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sound Lotus Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1 in Smite 1, and I'm going to play Chalk because I want to see how he feels between Smite 1 and Smite 2. Ouch. Just hit my LB, my LBO. Naughty Flunky. <laughs> what a name. That's a banger name. Naughty Flunky? I'm going to move my monitor a little bit over. Sheesh. All right, how do you build in this game? Let's see. I go Horn Shard against Fenrir. I don't really need beads, do I? Because I can just alt. I think I'm just going to go Thorns. And then I'll probably go Blackthorn because I know Blackthorn is an OP item. We'll go Chalice, start with some multi pots. Should I... Technically, my two is better because it also gives me protections. It does the same amount of damage. It literally does like one less than one damage less. But this gives me more protections. Technically, my two is just better, isn't it? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one point in my one and two points in my two. Because the base damage between the 1 and the 2 are the exact same. But my 2 can also double hit, right? Technically. That's annoying me that I lived that 1 HP. Why am I starting red buff? Or why am I why am I not starting red buff, I should say? I just tried to press space bar to pick up the buff. Ridiculous. Ridiculous how 20,000 hours of smite 1 can be dismantled from 200 hours of smite 2. Are you just dead? Back up, please. Um, I believe you might be deceased here. Oh, dang it. Bro, I was pressing space on every buff in Smite 1. Yeah, the buffs. Picking up the buff with space bar in Smite 2 is actually so nice. <laughs> in Smite 1, I, I just be pressing space bar all the time. Hello. I don't think that you scare me. You started tier 2 defense. That is why you feel so tanky. Okay. You're not level 5. I'm not scared of you. Although, I can just get these. And then what's going to happen to you? Are you dead? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's go, naughty flunky. I guess I kind of also cringed out and started defense because I started Blackthorn Hammer. I mean, Blackthorn's not defense technically, but it's like so much HP that it's kind of defense. I think his goal, by the way, as Fenrar, is to like very simply do this. He wants a lot of cooldown, and then he just wants to drag me into tower. Although it's not going to work. At least not now. I think you're you're deceased. <gasps> I'm deceased. No, dude, he lived. Oh my god. No way you're staying. There's no way you're staying. That's so greedy, dude. You don't have alt. You do actually. You got a lot of health back. How did you get so much health back? <laughs> Wait a second. How are you so healthy? What voodoo magic is this? Am I dead? Uh oh. Hold on. I need you to jump on me. Jump on me. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. I got my passive going so that I could alt for free mana and then use an ability afterwards. Let's go. All right, greedy boy. Now I back. Um, I think I'm just gonna go tanky, man. I'm just gonna do what he's doing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna slap vest him. I think I should win because I have, well, I'm gonna say I have more healing, but that's not really true. If he goes Aussie, he definitely has more healing than me. Ooh. 
I guess I could just go beat stick. I don't really need it yet, but eventually I will. I'm also, normally when I play chalk, I level my, um, no, you don't. Oh, I thought you were doing that. Normally when I play chalk, I level my one, but I actually feel like leveling my two feels really good right now. I'm not. Do people normally level their two on chalk? And I'm just, oh, okay, that was bad. I've just been missing out this entire time. They're gonna ult me. Ah! Oh. Well, okay. My ult was literally casting while I was in his mouth. I don't know if you guys could see the little aura there. But, okay, what is this? You just used all of your buttons. No, I can't pick up my one. No. No, no, no. Okay, I live, I live, I live. Holy crap, dude. I tried to I tried to pick up my one, because you can pick up your one and smite two. I tried to pick up my one and then use my two. And and I yeah, I almost got smite two in smite. Oh my god, why are you here so fast? Okay. Oh, he just he just gave up. Interesting. Let's go regrowth. Let's go regrowth and then breastplate. Let's just go full tank. Let's just go full tank chalk and let our base damage carry. Our base damage is really high though. 340 and 340 plus 540 with the ult. That's kind of high. I really wonder, I, I've never done the math about how good last inning is in Smite 1. So let's see. This minion dies, I get 21 gold. This minion dies, I get 31 gold. Okay, so it's... It's about half... Uh, it's about half. It's not exactly half, but it's, it's a significant amount as well. Hello. Not that bad, though. I don't think that I'm scared of you. I think you might actually be scared of me. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, I can't get this, but I might be able to do some numbies. Oh. Okay. That's nice, I guess. Free dub. Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to game two. I can't believe that first guy surrendered just randomly while running away. Like he didn't even die and he just, he just surrendered. It's the same guy. I'm playing Chalk again, but he's playing Charybdis. You think he's going to five minutes surrender again? I'm going to do the exact same build I was doing last game. I don't think I need to be scared of him like literally at all. Also, does this actually double hit? Spins around, damaging all enemies, getting protections for each enemy hit or max. If his axe is out, he will first dash the location doing 50% base damage to enemies he passes through and then execute the spin attack. Okay. So I do 50% damage dashing and then I do the spin attack that actually does full damage. So I get a 50% bonus boozu buck when I use this. Also maxing this at max rank, it has a lower cooldown than your one, which is kind of crazy. You get 10 protections times four, which means I get 40 of each protection at rank two. That's insane. At max rank, I get 100 of each protection. That just, that should not be a thing. All right, we've, we've definitely already gotten better because I didn't have a small minion live with one HP this time. Hello? 
look at that damage. I don't think... I don't think I really care about you hurting me, to be honest. I don't know if I can actually get this. I want to say I can. Oh, yeah, he's just letting me. All right, cool. Cool, cool. This is going to hurt. Um, I mean, I'm really not that far behind. He already, he just used his three, so he's just dead here, by the way. Yeah, he's just dead. He used his three to try to avoid a tower shot. He didn't avoid the tower shot. And then he just gets all in by me. That is definitely the most unlucky scenario to be in. But, you know, sometimes you just get owned, I guess. We've all been there. He does have the Griffin Wing already, which I don't love. Uh, I'm going to use my three with my passive here because it costs the most mana. Then I want to group up the minions, dash through them and clear with the two. I am very tanky right now because of my two. So I want to box for a little bit. We're going to back out. I'm going to do this. Uh, he's definitely going to be able to steal some of my rocks here, but he's not going to be able to actually, like, get the rocks. You know what I mean? I don't know why you want to fight me so bad. Because you, you don't win these. I mean, I guess if you ult me, maybe you do. You do have ult, don't you? You should have ult. Oh, my one actually full clears. I mean, not my one. My two. Full clears the archers. Let's get this into a breastplate. Just get a multi pot for good measure. Imagine Duel and Joust in Smite 2. Duel and Joust will be coming to Smite 2 in October. There are the next game modes that are going to be added. I'm not sure if they're going to be a ranked mode or not. But I can guarantee you that there are going to be the next modes added to Smite 2. And that happens in October. Okay, I just get some free tower damage here because he was a little bit late to coming back. All right, not a, not a little bit of free tower damage. I got a lot of free tower damage. Holy crap, dude. Don't do it. Oh my God, look at my damage. All right, I'm going to walk up. He's going to use his three. There it is. Now I've decided you're dead. Unlucky. Unlucky. That's soon? It is very soon, yeah. Alright, he just spawned, but I should have enough time to do this blue as long as I do as much damage as I'm supposed to. Thank you. I, I definitely should have used my one instead of my, my two there first. Using my two first is literally just losing damage. It's actually so stupid to do. Because if I use my one and then my two, I teleport it doing extra damage. Dude, I just do so much damage to you. I'm just like... Okay, he surely he's given up, right? Surely he's given up. I don't know why. I don't know why he's just giving up. I feel like Charybdis definitely has a chance against Chalk, right? Like, an ADC in general can get Kins and Exe. And the anti-heal Exe. Not even just like a normal like penetration Exe, but like... Get an, get an anti-heal Exe and he's just going to surrender now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why he's just giving up. What is going on here? Like, late game Exe plus Kins... Plus Aussie, like he can just shred me, but, or even just an oboe. I don't know. I'll do one more game. We'll see if we can get a good one. He didn't enjoy the fact that I was playing chalk and like loving it. So he instead banned chalk. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to play someone similar to chalk. What's another ability based warrior. That's very like 
annoying to fight. Guan. Hercules. I think Hercules is coming to Smite 2 pretty soon. Wukong. Wukong is cool. Let's play Wukong. Wukong is more like Chalk than Herc is. Because Herc has like a bunch of CC and stuff. He's got the knockup. He's got the stun. You have Diamond Mulan. I'm stunned. Uh, I actually have two stars on Mulan <laughs> because of 24 hour streams and them wanting to make me a sad boy. All right, let's get the Blackthorn Hammer. Let's get healing, healing. Um, the one does do 20% extra damage to jungle minions. How much mana? 50, and this costs 60. How much mana do I have? 310. I only have 5.4 mana per five, which is pretty bad. I guess I probably just put one point in the... I mean, I could put one point in everything. That would give me the best chance of level three fighting, but... Like, actually, the smartest chance is probably just two points in the one and one point in the two. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, in your full guide video for Smite 2, you said if you lost the minions, the gold gets increased from 30 to 45 or something. If you clear with one ability, would you get the 45 gold per minion? Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as you're the one last hitting them, then yes, you would. If your ability brings them down to 1 HP, like my auto attacks do apparently, then no, you would not get the full gold. But yeah, I mean, assuming you get the last hit, regardless of what last hits it, you will still get the, the full amount of gold. I'd imagine. Did he do my blue? Was he going to invade me? Okay, I think I can kill you here now, actually. Okay, never mind. He's just going to run away, isn't he? Yeah, he's just going to run. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. It's fine. What if I walk over here just to annoy you? He did actually do my blue. All right, I'm going to do this one. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I have the mana for it, if I'm completely honest with you. But I did just hit level 5, and that's pretty sick. Nice. Um, I don't think you win this. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I don't think you win. And he didn't even Aegis my Tiger stun. All right. Blackthorn Hammer acquired. Multipot acquired. Double buff control acquired. First blood acquired. I'm unstoppable. I also now have infinite mana. Thank you to Blackthorn Hammer. He is still level four. He is no longer level four. Okay, that scared me. Um... He's just going to go Solitaire. Do I just go next item and slam a beat stick here and get no defense? Because I feel like defense is like mandatory, to be honest with you. If you're playing a warrior, I feel like you have to have defense. Oop. Uh, you can alt back now. Or not alt back. I'm sorry. You can jump back. I can kill you. But I can kill you easily. Oh, big Aegis. Doesn't matter because I still got the auto attack. Let's go. Why does my damage feel so good? I almost killed myself just now. I have I have literally one item. And I don't have a red buff or anything. Why does my damage feel this good? I think I'm just going to go breastplate. I'm going to just ignore the fact that he is Soul Eater for now. Intimidating. And Soul Eater... Yeah, it's 100 stacks. I got time. I got time to finish my item and then go beat stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really 
I don't really mind any kind of little numbies he's pumping on me. Um, I do... I do care about his soul leader. And I should more than likely, if I care about the soul leader, I should probably try to fight him off of the wave before I clear the wave. Just so that he's not getting the stacks for it, you know? Like, I want to let him back right now so he doesn't get the stacks for these. And my blue buff is up, so I'm going to get the rock and then I'm going to go to blue buff. Uh. What is your second item going to be? A Jotun's, maybe? I guess Jotun's, like, that makes sense. You want the cooldown. But at the exact same time that you want the cooldown, like, it's not enough. I just walk right into that. Uh, you don't have enough mana to jump, do you? Let's find out. Oh, okay, he did. Dang it. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter again because I still get his blue. Everything is just kind of working out. I'm not even planning for it to work out. I'm just like everywhere I need to be at the correct time for some reason. It must be the muscle memory kicking in. All those years of playing duel. Just the muscle memory of when to be aggro and when to not be aggro. Um, I'm just going to continue with the full defense strat that I was doing with Chalk. Just because I think it's funny. I think it would be so funny if I could if I could beat Bastet, who's like arguably one of the best Smite 1 dual characters, by just going full defense on Warriors. Hello. Don't own me. Oh, damn it. All right. Big slow here. Where are you going? Does he... This gives cooldown, right? That gives 10% cooldown. Why is he not jumping? He definitely had jump up there, right? Unless he wasted it and I just wasn't paying full attention, I guess. No, he definitely should have had it up. Why not glad shield? I definitely should get glad shield. That's a good idea. I should also go shield of the Phoenix. Because that is in smite one. Yeah, you don't win these, bucker. You don't really win these, bucker. I think you're just... Oh, the cat! Live! Oh, dude, the cat. The cat ate my stun three times. Three times, dude. What an OP cat. Now right, we get Contagion. The only reason we're going Contagion, one, when the cat hits me, it will proc Contagion, I think. Uh, and two, I can proc Contagion with his ult. So I do actually proc it a little bit. And then moreover, obviously, it's just a little bit of anti-heal. And if I'm going full tank, then... Well, I'm going to need I'm gonna need something that, that helps. Why is he spam lapping me? You've killed me one time in three games and five minutes surrendered the others. What like what makes you think that you're you're in a position to spam laugh me? What the heck is this, man? Alright, he's like already out of mana. Drop this. I could just go do Bull Demon, I guess. He has Solitaire and full Jotuns. Okay, be honest. How troll would it be if I went Pestilence just for the anti-heal? Like, I know it does nothing else here. Like, literally nothing else. Doesn't help versus Towers. Doesn't help versus him. Doesn't help versus anything. But it would help against his double lifesteal. Plus his passive, which is also lifesteal. Hello. I missed. I missed twice. Okay, that time you deserve it. I'm bonking. I'm bonking. 
Hello? All right. Well, color me impressed. I did not think that one would kill him. Full tank and actually killing there? That's crazy. All right, we should be able to get this Phoenix here. He's dead for another five sec. Okay, he just surrendered. I, I don't know what to tell you. I tried to get a game going of full tank warriors, but he's just surrendered three times. I hope you guys enjoy the video. You know, <laughs> I tried your hide. I tried my best. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace.